So hey everyone, welcome to Prescott, Arizona. Thanks for stopping by the channel. My name is Rich, and today we're going to continue what I started the other week with the DJI Ground Station Pro app that is for iOS iPads only. So today I'm out in the rocks again. I was actually going to take you to one of the construction sites that um, I've been working at recently to do this demo. Unfortunately, We've already sold some properties over there, so people are moving in. And with that in mind, I don't want to bother any folks in that neighborhood as they're just getting settled in. So I figured we're going to come out here into the Granite Dells and we're going to replicate a situation that came up for me not too long ago. And we're going to go over how Ground Station Pro can actually help deal with that particular situation. Now, before I go any further, you're probably listening in saying, hey, what's up with the audio quality? I'm using the AirPods again, and I just wanted to give you a heads up because I know some people don't like the AirPod uh, sound quality, so if you don't like it, I understand, and you'll probably drift off of, this, uh, off of this video really quick. But I'm using the AirPods because I'm not wired up to anything. I don't have to worry about a lav mic popping the mic into my pocket or hooking it onto my belt, having something disconnect, which I've had happen in previous videos where I've had to do two or three takes because the audio equipment disconnected somehow. So the AirPods are really easy to use and it makes setup for me a lot simpler. So um, I sound a little tinny on this. I'm totally with you, I understand that. But I think overall, when I'm doing lessons out in the field, until I can get a better wireless lav mic setup, uh, the AirPods are a great way to go. So. Uh, the sound quality is good enough. I don't find it offensive. I've personally re-listened to it. Um, the construction in the background might be more annoying than the AirPods right now. So I'll have to see how that sounds afterward. But so I just wanted to give you that heads up. And so I'm going to be coming back out here setting up the DJI uh, Mavic 2 Pro. And then I'm going to be hooking that up to DJI Ground Station Pro. And we're going to replicate a situation where maybe we don't have a map on our iPad. We don't have internet connection. Or even if we do have internet connection and we've got a map, we're doing work in an area, a construction area, that's never been captured by Google yet. So the home or the building is there. But when you go to look for a reference point to set up your flight, all you see is just open ground. So that's where Ground Station Pro can really come in and help you set up for 3D models um, because we can actually create waypoints for a 3D model and we don't need the map to be functioning. So that's what we're gonna play with here today. So no more of me on camera, let's get to the fun stuff and I hope you enjoy this. And as I said before, I didn't realize how many people were still interested in Ground Station Pro. So thanks for stopping by and checking out the channel and checking the other videos. Unlike video number two, the boring video, this one's gonna be a little more fun. We're gonna be flying the drone, we're gonna be setting up our waypoints, and we're gonna set it up so that we could execute a 3D modeling mission. All right, let's get to it. Hey everyone, welcome to the more exciting part. So now what I'm doing, I'm just, I've connected up Ground Station Pro to my DJI Mavic 4, or Mavic 2 Pro. <laughs> Mavic 4. Um, anyways, so I'm all set here, and I'm actually looking at the main screen, so I could, in fact, fly my drone using Ground Station Pro, and doesn't it look familiar? Doesn't it look just like the DJI Go 4 app? Yes, it does. So I've already cleared off the SD card, and I'm going to go down here to the lower right corner, and I'm going to click back on here to the missions. So right now, I'm showing nothing on my screen. And the reason I'm showing nothing on my screen is because I made sure that I don't have any Wi-Fi connection at the moment. The reason I did that is simple. Sometimes you're gonna get to a location that you haven't pre-planned, and when you get to that location, you're gonna realize you have no reference points whatsoever. And so that's gonna kind of stick for a minute. You're gonna say, oh no, what am I gonna do? We're kind of stuck here. And you're not really stuck, not with Ground Station Pro, because you can actually use your drone to create your flight area. So that's exactly what we're going to do here today. So I am tapping right down here, and I want to make a 3D map area. So I'm clicking on that. 
and I'm going to use the aircraft to make that map area. So there we are. We're on the screen and we can see where we're at. And over on the right hand side, we've got a set button. So we can actually set that afterward for each of our points. So what's going to happen next? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to launch the drone. So there we go. The drone is spinning up and you can actually see that in the little screen down here. So there we go. And let's get the drone up in the air. There we are. Drone has taken off. And so we're using the granite dells again for our area of operation because the construction site that I was going to use, we've already got sold homes in there. So with that in mind, I don't want to bother the new neighbors. And uh, my only other option would be to go knock on doors and say, hey, could we borrow this area? So just to be polite to them, I figured I'll just use the same location that I regularly use. And I am just flying the drone over here. What's really nice is I can actually see what's going on. I'm going to drop my um, gimbal down here because I want to actually get a look at where I am. So I'm keeping visual line of sight with the drone the entire time while we're doing this one. And I just want to get it over to the little dirt road. There we go. There's our little dirt road. I'm going to raise the elevation of the drone just a little bit. We actually have a vehicle heading up right now. I'm going to move the drone forward following along that roadway. And I'm just moving it over again. So there we go. We're just following the road path. And as I follow the road path up, I'm getting to the location where I would like to start my mission from. I've got the drone right where I want it. And let's switch back to the other screen. And I'm going to set the first point. So I have just set a point. Very cool. So there's where the drone's at. And let's make sure that point has been set. And now I'm going to move the drone across. So we're now bringing the drone over the rock formations. There we go. And so I'm still eyeballing it here from the ground. But this is about where I want the second waypoint. I'm going to move forward just a little bit more. There we go. And I'm going to set my second waypoint. All right. Now let's start bringing the drone back toward me because I'm blocking out my area. So here comes the drone backwards once again. And I'm just getting it to where I want it again. There we go, right about there. And let's go ahead and hit that set button again. And now I'm going to take the drone back across over me. So here it comes. And right overhead now. And we're going to set up our last waypoint for this particular 3D model. I'm just bringing it back over there again. And I want to use that road as a reference. So I'm going to set that one. And that looks really good to me. But just in case... I'm going to move the drone back up and make one more point for myself. Let's see here. Yes, we're still following along with that road. And now I'm going to move the drone over just a touch more. Set that. And now I'm going to hit finish. So there we go. We have now mapped out our flight area for doing a 3D model. So I blocked that out without having a Google map or some other Google Earth map for references with. Isn't that awesome? So now that we've got this blocked out area, we can start working with the blocked out area and working on the right hand side for mission 12 here. So as you can see, we have the blocked area, we've got our camera model, we've got the parallel to main path, but at this point, I can fly the drone back so that I can save some battery power here. And if I was on a job location, I could actually go sit in the truck for a few minutes and finish out what it is that I want to do with this particular map. So we have it ready to go. And the final thing that I'm going to do is up in the left-hand corner, we've got our little save button. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And it just complained, hey, I don't have internet connection. I know I don't have internet connection. As I've said to you before, um, 
Ground Station Pro really desperately wants to talk to the internet whenever possible. It's clearly a very social program, and it just wants to be talking on the internet all the time. DJI Ground Station Pro does like to be connected to the internet, but you don't have to be connected to the internet, and you don't even have to have a reference point. So, by the way, let's take a look at where the drone's hovering right now. I'm just going to bring the uh, bring the gimbal back up here. So there we go. Gimbal's coming back up. And I'm going to go ahead and bring the drone back. So that's pretty quick and easy. So we can actually set our waypoints for our 3D model area uh, with the drone so that if we don't have good points of reference, we can create our own points of reference. Of course, to really do it well, you're going to need good visual line of sight or you're going to need a visual observer who's paying really close attention for you to let you know when you get to each of the areas that you want to lay a waypoint. Now, for creating waypoint missions, we can also do the same. We can actually fly a path and we can drop our, um, our waypoints where we want them manually from the drone. And in the waypoint missions, we can even vary the altitude. Now in the 3D modeling mission, we're not gonna vary the altitude because we're building a 3D model. But when it comes to doing the um, cool flight paths and cinematic stuff, um, building a waypoint mission is one way to go. So both Ground Station Pro and Litchi do a very good job with it. And in an upcoming video, I'll actually take you through um, a Litchi setup and a Ground Station Pro setup. But so now you know the next time that you land at a job site that you hadn't pre-planned and you don't have any points of reference, if you're utilizing Ground Station Pro, you can create points of reference with your drone. So that's awesome and it'll save you headaches when you get to your location. And like I said, I bumped into that situation before. I had uh, Map Pilot by Maps Made Easy with me, and it was actually a little more difficult to get everything plotted out for that 3D model. So I am definitely getting into Ground Station Pro more and more for some of its unique features that you can't find in the other applications. All right, let's bring this bad boy home. And actually, I'm gonna just tilt that camera down just because, and let's line ourselves up. And I'm not even doing a precision landing here with this. No point. You're hearing the drone coming down most likely. And let's take a look here. I gotta back it up just a bit. There's my helipad. And let's get that uh, gimbal back up because it's complaining a little bit. There we go. Manual precision landing. Beautiful, right on the pad. All right, everybody. So that is the, uh, that's the quick one for today. So definitely much more exciting than the last video for sure. And now you have an idea that, yes, I can in fact use Ground Station Pro to plot out my 3D map areas uh, for creating really cool 3D models. And I think you probably already have a good idea of how putting a waypoint mission together will work out with Ground Station Pro doing a very similar thing to what we just did to block out the rock area that we're going to do a 3D model of. All right, everyone, thanks for stopping in. And I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick little tutorial for Ground Station Pro. And I hope it opens up your eyes to the fact that there are some possibilities if only Ground Station Pro is available beyond just iPads.